Good morning, it's Wednesday now and I'm just starting a vlog because there was a long weekend so Matt and Caden were both off for a little bit but now they are way back to work in school so I can actually work properly. This morning I was watching Catnip Illustrations with her vlog because they really inspire me. I'm 15 minutes through it so halfway. I need to finish my sketchbook, my watercolour sketchbook. I'm going to make a video actually of me finishing my sketchbook. I need to clean this desk as well. I've got like a tiny amount of pages left for that so I'm going to record me finishing that sketchbook and then I need to record the mini canvas painting. I'm going to record a lot of videos today and then record starting a new sketchbook and then start vlog which is now. I was gonna go to the gym today but again I prioritised videos and art over the gym. Shouldn't do that. Going to try and go tomorrow again and I need to clean the bathroom and I also need to clean up this area here. And then tomorrow I want to record a sketchbook tour and another video and I've wrote down this week would be great if I post on Instagram one to two times this week which I think I've already done but I want to post more and if I get ahead with videos at least two so that's what I'm working on today and if I finish my watercolour sketchbook that will be great so those are my goals for this week. I'm trying to not give myself too much to do even though I want to do loads of stuff but I'm trying my hardest not to do it. I still am a little bit confused on what videos to put out and stuff but I do have a few good ideas. Um, I really want to start Patreon. If that's something that, that you might want then please comment below and tell me if you want that and what you would like to see. I'll probably do early access videos and like posts like my sketchbook and stuff behind the scenes. Um, and then maybe downloadable art and then once I can afford a printer and a Cricut machine I'll do stickers and art prints and all of that fun stuff. So that's the plan but I think I'm going to wait for a little bit to get the Patreon going because I think that I can actually with the Amino videos and the other jobs here and there that I'm doing I think I can save up enough money for a printer on my own without Patreon or Kickstarter but it would be helpful. If you do want to support the channel which I hate to ask but if you do then all the links to support me are in the description below. Buying from my Etsy shop, uh, Redbubble, Inprint is a good one. Nobody's bought from Inprint before but they have better quality prints. They are a little bit more expensive but you you get what you pay for basically and uh, coffee, donations, all that stuff. So yeah, if you want to support the channel and help me make prints for things then go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'm going to play about in my sketchbook today. I think I want to do faces and watercolour with limited palettes. That's my, my jam. Uh, I'm going to record that as a video so I'm not going to show you it even though I would love to. quarter one now. I thought I had so much more time. I'm actually really happy with what I've got done so far but this is what my current situation looks like. My desk, um, I was trying to set that aside to dry but I've chucked things over it. Um, the sketchbook is over there drying, kind of, and I just did the first coat for my mini canvas video. It's taken a lot longer to dry. It's gouache mixed with acrylic so I think that the gouache is slowing down the drying process but I'm really worried in case this dries out as well because I want to use that paint but 
obviously I need to wait until it dries. So I'm kind of do doing two videos at once. And to be honest, I want to do another video today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. <clears throat> I bought two watercolour sketchbooks a couple of weeks ago because I knew that I was going to finish that one soon. And where are they? These ones. Let me just show you them. Uh, so I have the handbook and co journal or hand handbook journal co watercolor book. I've seen these a lot online and I wanted to try them. I need to stop buying this size, but they're just watercolor books are expensive as they are so if I bought any bigger than this it would just be really hard and also I've seen these online quite a lot as well which are the caddy I think that's how you say it Cad caddy or caddy papers and this is 100% cotton 210 GSM and this is the smooth version I don't know why I got smooth but it doesn't have a hardback cover like this is watercolour paper here and I don't know I just wanted to try it to see what it would be like so I will do reviews of both these um, things I kinda want to start this one just because I'm, I feel more excited about this one than I do this one this one is a large portrait, which is not really, 60 pages and it's A5 size, it's 200 GSM. I haven't opened this one yet. I think I will, let's open it. The thing is though, I think that this one is going to be more like the Hannah Muller one, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it because I didn't really like the Hannah Muller one. Well, I did, it was okay, but I think I'm gonna prefer this one. It's 100% cotton, but the paper is handmade, so the sizing will be all over the place. Like, I don't know, it'll take the watercolour different. And there is imperfections in the paper, and they're all ripped to different sizes but there's loads of paper in this I can't believe how much paper there is but look how different it is in size compared like it's a lot smaller so I think I might try this one first and then try this one maybe I'll try both of them and then just put one aside and use whatever one I feel like using this one's fancy it's got a little pocket yeah but since it's quarter to one already, I only have an hour and a half until I have to go and pick up Caden. But that's plenty of time to do another two videos. Good morning. Welcome. It's Thursday today and it's quarter to nine, but I only have a half day today and tomorrow to get everything I need to do done. Life always gets in the way, but I'm really excited for tonight because my son is starring well, he's part of a rock concert, a rock concert, which is really funny because I didn't think his school were the type of school to let them dabble around in that, but I think it's awesome. So me and Matt are gonna go, or Matt and I are gonna go and see him. I deleted a clip that I filmed. It's probably a good job I did because I always ramble on, but yesterday I filmed a clip about something. I don't know what it was about. But I think it was just me telling you that I was in the middle of doing this sketchbook page and I was going to finish it later and I was in the middle of doing another video so it's not that exciting. You can see the videos later. In fact, I'll insert clips, sneak peeks of the videos that are coming up on my channel soon because I'm recording a bunch in advance right now because I need to get ahead because of all this time that I'm losing. So that's my update. I'm just going to have my breakfast which is a muffin, a blueberry muffin. I should be going to the gym today but I decided to skip it because of the amount of time that I need. Although I could be already in the gym for half an hour so far and I still haven't done anything. 
apart from go to the shop and drive here. <laughs> I have so many files in my computer just waiting to be edited uh, for different types of videos. Some of them I'm not even going to use. I filmed a whole video of me painting an Oreo and I don't think I'm going to post that video. And I also filmed a whole video of me painting six different donuts and I also don't think I'm going to post that video. So I don't know but I'm keeping the files there. And I've also got files from when Caden recorded himself drawing a little house. So I don't know, I've just got loads of footage that I need to go through and make sure that I delete it but not delete the footage that I actually need like I've done in the last two vlogs. Yes, I'm rambling, let's go. All right, it is quarter to 11 now. I have been doing multiple videos, it's craziness. It is kind of annoying but at the same time I like it because when I'm waiting on something to dry I can do something else. So I'm doing that. So I am going to finish this sketchbook, starting my sketchbook, a new sketchbook video but I don't want to call it starting a new sketchbook. I kind of want to make it just uh, first impressions of this sketchbook because I don't think I'm actually going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> that much. I might use it a little bit but I think that I'm gonna probably put it aside for a little bit and start on my other one, my travel log one, because this one just isn't, I don't like the size, it's a little bit small. I don't know. I will obviously use it but I think that I want to use a different one for the type of work that I want to do. And I still haven't finished my other sketchbook. I've still got three pages left to fill up, but I'm getting there, so that's exciting. Anyway, oh yeah, yesterday I was watching a video. I can't remember who it was by, but I'll link it in the description below. It was an art organizing slash room tour video, and it made me realize how unfunctional my space is. <laughs> like, I don't know, I, I have a bunch of like, Etsy stuff down there and by the way I haven't sold anything on Etsy for a while and I think the reasoning for that is because I'm not promoting it as much and I am not adding new stuff but anyway I've got a bunch of Etsy stuff down there and stuff that I don't actually use in this cutlery container thing and then under here I've got boxes full of watercolour stuff, uh, book binding stuff and cables and stuff and then in there's pencils and acrylic paint well in that box is acrylic paint and it usually goes there but I keep leaving things on the floor really annoying there's a can of iron brew under there it's empty it dropped it the other day and I couldn't be bothered picking it up then there's this thing that sticks out which is my table easel and some trainers <laughs> my table easel sticks out and it annoys me when I'm trying to paint because literally that's where I paint this is where my easel is and it sticks out and I hit my leg off it all the time so I need to move that. My light table is there, my tracing table is there as well. And then when you come through here into the bedroom where I used to have my art tables, there's a cupboard and it is dark in here but it has books in there which is great. I like the top half but the bottom half is just a mess. It's got some games um, for the family and then it's got packing supplies here and here, old artwork and a bunch of other supplies and boxes from giveaways or orders that I've had. It's also got my two other watercolour palettes and gouache palettes there. It's just a mess and I don't think it's very functional and to be honest I am never gonna get cubes again. You know those boxes with a cube style bookcase. I'm never gonna get that again because it's not practical. It's not very nice to dump things in a box. I would rather have it on a long flat drawer so I checked to see how much the drawers were in Ikea that I want. They're called Alex drawers. A lot of artists have them. They are really handy because they're really shallow and they, you can put dividers in them and stuff to divide things up and I really want those but they're a hundred each. The Alex file cabinet drawer style thing, the smaller one is 55 and the bigger one is a hundred. That's a lot of money but I do think that 
after I save up enough money to buy a, a new printer and a Cricut machine, I really do want to sort out my space and buy new things. I might flog, as in sell, the, the cube thing. And then the thing under there, which is a TV stand by the way, has my computer and my printer on it. I think I'll keep that just because it is practical, but I hate the other two shelves on it. I need to figure out how to organize that better and then just reorganize. But before I do buy any more furniture, I'm gonna do a massive organizing and clearing out. And I really wanted to start it yesterday after watching those videos, but I realized that I just need to not start something that I know will get in the way of doing art and videos. So I am going to do it after I catch up with videos a little bit better. So I'm going to do that at some point, but I thought that I would tell you that that is what I'm planning to do. And if you have any storage solutions, like I'm actually thinking about getting rid of this thing. After I get rid of my markers, I am going to get rid of this. But I still do have a lot of pens and pencils that I like to keep out. I don't use these nearly as much. I usually just, when I've got my bullet journal, I just use one pen. Um, and then a highlighter to highlight it. Whatever pen comes to me first. And it's usually this one. Because I like it. It's cute. And it's just blue ink, like it's not anything special. But anyway, I was thinking about getting the pegboards and putting it up there and getting like little tubs and hooks and things to put my washi tape and my markers on there and my paint brushes and all that on there instead. And just getting rid of that so that I have more desk space, even though <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous because this has started to spill out this is Caden's stuff, by the way. He was eating crisps yesterday. Um, but I have this desk, which is a dining table size. A, 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 a six-person dining table size. This is another six-person dining table size. And then this is another six-person dining table size. So I have a lot of space desk-wise. I just don't have any space storage-wise. I do want shelves and stuff. But again, the only reason I don't do this is, one, because we don't have enough money to keep on buying it different things for my storage needs but also too because we plan on moving again I know we just moved and we've moved quite a lot well we haven't really moved quite a lot we've moved twice but um the only reason we moved twice was because that was a temporary house but anyway we are planning on moving into another house but we need to wait a long time for that because we want to move the next move that we move into a new house needs to be a house where we want to be so we need to wait until we find the house that, like the perfect house for us and it's going to be hard to get out of this house as well because I don't actually think anybody in their right mind would want to live here um then the area is nice and the house is okay for like maybe one person with less hobbies than us or maybe like a couple planning on having a baby something like that it's not the storage isn't great it's just a really old house. I forgot to mention one thing. I am now a official verified story creator on Amino now. So this video isn't sponsored and I don't expect you to go over there, but if you wanna see my behind the scenes snippets of videos, then you should definitely go over there. I'll leave the link in the description below. I have already posted a mini sort of how to paint a donut video. If you remember that video from YouTube, it is the same video but it's different because it's faster, it's like story mode time. But I am making those videos and I'm kind of happy. Um, I'm also getting paid to do it so full transparency there I am getting paid to do it. And I am excited because with that money if I do three videos a week, with the money I would be able to save up for a printer and a Cricut machine within the, the first two months and then after that I will be able to save up a lot more money. So it just makes me feel like a little bit more validated. I know that sounds weird but when you're in this industry and you're working and working and working, I mean I've been in this industry or working towards being in the industry for four years now and I don't think I mean, I've had a gallery show in, it, in a local um, gallery and I've sold paintings there and I've obviously sold paintings on Etsy. 
and I've made a little bit of money from YouTube but I haven't really had any opportunities that have given me a long term stability and the contract there is no contract with Amino so they could they could slice it at any time but I know that if I do good work and keep on producing good things they might keep me on and it also opens opportunities to work with them further and they're a really good company and they're really awesome like the the people that I was talking to on emails I talked to two people because one went on holiday during our conversation but both of them are really nice and I really enjoyed the conversation and I really got excited about doing it also I have a delivery coming today I hope it doesn't come when I have to go and pick up Matt. I ordered a clip tripod thing. Um, I ordered another selfie stick. You know this one that I have attached to my tripod that doesn't get used anymore. I ordered another one of those just, just for the clip that attaches to it because I was looking for to just buy the cradle on its own but none of them were as good as that cradle. So I bought the selfie stick. It was only 4 99 and then like four pound for shipping or something like that so I bought another one of those so that I can film amino stories better and stories in general I do really want to start doing that for Instagram as well so that's exciting and I'm really happy about that so if you want to go and check that out and follow me on an amino and see all the posts I'll be posting Monday Wednesday and Friday over on there get behind the scenes obviously you can get them from here but you can get them a little bit more updated but I am going to post a backlog of videos from my old videos on YouTube because it's just easier for me to make footage from those old videos first and then make cre uh, create new amino stories so that I can have a continued up thingy. Some people think I'm mad for taking this on because it's a lot more work and I already have a lot on my plate just now but it's work like duh I'm gonna take it so I just thought I would share that with you because um, I like to be completely honest with you guys and I like to tell you what's going on and how I feel about certain things and honestly this opportunity has made me really happy just to be able to do something that I love but also get paid for it so yay it's 12.01 now, so I have about half an hour before I have to leave. Um, yeah, half an hour. <sighs> I've got one page left in my sketchbook. So I'm excited about that. I have worked on three videos today uh, and yesterday. So I'm also happy about that because that's a lot of footage and I'm scared to edit it because it's gonna be a mess because all of the footage is obviously in between each other so I need to sort that out maybe put them into folders and make sure I have all of the footage that I want and then I've got to go through it and edit it and then I will voice over the footage either t t uh, tomorrow or next week I think I'll probably do it next week because tomorrow is another half day and I don't think I'll have enough time and I also want to record one more video before I start editing so yes I have transferred most of the clips to the computer though. I can't do much more on this right now because I need to wait until it dries before I can turn the page and then I will do my last page of my sketchbook. Um, some of the pieces in here, some of the drawings I'm happy with, some of them I'm not so happy but that's just how it goes in a sketchbook and I don't know. I think when you start drawing your first couple of drawings are rubbish and then you get good and then you get rubbish again <laughs> so yeah I think I just because it's the end of the sketchbook as well I just want to finish it so I don't really tend to try that hard when I want to finish the sketchbook but anyway I'm going to end this video here because it's been a long one so I'm gonna record some beetle footage and I am going to see you in my next video.